Hi guys, got another pair of headphones or set of headphones that need a bit of repair. If we're lucky, they are Bluetooth headphones, although I think that means you can also plug them in directly. Looks like, looks like they clip apart. Well, that's a good start. I thought we were going to have to struggle. We've got a USB lead there for charging, I guess. Oh, gosh. And a micro SD card. What's all this about? I've never seen anything quite like that before. Uh, right, so what is obviously broken got earth wire, red wire, green wire, and blue wire. Because they're pulled right off, it's not going to be easy to guess where they came from. So having said that, let's just zoom in a bit. There's clearly a wire come off there and a wire off there, which would be we got R plus and R minus, which will be the the right hand speaker, which is possibly going to be the. Oh, I don't know. Looking at the colours here, the left plus and minus is the gold and the green, or is that black? I'm going to guess red positive, black neg negative going on B minus and B plus there. Gold onto the. Well, being just there that way round, I'm going to guess gold onto the R plus and the green onto the R minus. Just following the same colours that those are on. Well, I'll get me soldering iron out. Solder them on. No point in you watching me doing that because my hands will be in the way. But we'll solder them on and see if it works. That is interesting. Micro SD. I mean, it must have. A battery in here somewhere. And this feels quite heavy. Just wondering whether to have a look under here, see if there is actually a battery behind there. I can't see it. I don't think it is. I suspect if there is a battery, it's actually in here somewhere.
Uh, the other day I was using this meter and the battery had gone on it. I was getting all sorts of funny readings. Let's just go on B plus and B minus, see if we've got anything. It doesn't appear to have anything there. the on off button there um there's a thought let's just put it on charge i have a usb there Red light come on. Well, rather than charge it up, if it's fairly flat at the moment, that might be safer to work on it while it's fairly flat. But I will just see if we can measure anything anywhere. Yeah, we're getting, you can't see that. Put the meter where you can see it, that might help. Right, as you can see, we've got the red light on there. So we are charging, and if I go across the battery terminals there, we're getting four volts, so it is charging. But I'll stop it charging, as I say, probably better to have it um, disconnected while we do the soldering. Before I actually get on with the soldering, I will just say this will be our main problem. We'll be getting these wires to take some solder, so I'll pre-tin them. Might have to scrape them a little bit to clean off the enamel or whatever they're covered with so we can get some solder on them. I've just scraped the end of them to get down to the shiny metal and we'll see if we can actually get solder on them. All right, you might be able to see they've got little shiny bits of solder on them now. We'll see if we can do this so you can see it. And like I said, I'm going to guess the colour scheme is the same as we've got there, which actually means these reverse. Green. I'm going for right minus. Gold. For right plus. I'll go for red for battery plus. Black for battery, uh, black blue that is. Oh well. It'll either go horribly wrong or it'll work. Right. I've just pulled the other side off and we can see the wires that go to the speakers are actually the green and the blue. So that wasn't what I thought. So we're going to have to take this apart again and resolder it. Right, green, I'm pretty sure that's indicating that's negative green. And blue is positive, so we've got the green on the right place, but we need to shift the blue. Right, battery must be up in there, in the right headphone. Or in fact, yeah, behind here somewhere. 
So that's where the gold and red wires are going. And when I measure on the gold and red wires here, I'm using the black for the positive, so it's the wrong way round on the screen there. But we are getting just over three volts out of the battery, which must be over there. So I'll solder that gold wire onto the battery negative, and we should be the right way round. I should have done that earlier, then we'd have known which way we were going. This just clips in place, so it came off quite easily. remember which way round it was. That way round it must have been. Hold the on off button in. I'm getting a little flicker down here on the LED. Um, if I put the light out, you might actually see that. And where this finger is. Just the tiniest little flash. Yeah. So that's the right way round. Now, when we put it on charge, we should be putting charge in the right place. Okay, we'll come back again in a minute. Well, that's a success. I've got them working and paired to my phone so I can actually test them and they're working. Now I'm guessing, I've never seen these before, but I'm guessing that SD card slot is so you can actually put um, your own SD card in there with music on it. So you can actually play music direct. Because it's got shuffle, step forward, step back, that sort of thing on there. Well, I haven't got shuffle, but it's got step forward, step back. Oh, you can see the blue LED is flashing down there to indicate it's linked. So, um, pleased with myself. I didn't expect to fix this. It was about to be thrown out. So, granddad's fixed it, it can go back to my grandson. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.